This is one of the most advanced robots in the world, and we really like it. I'm really excited to work with it and see what it can do. Uh, and I was the first person to scratch it, so I'll probably be the first person to break it. My name is Hao Zhang. Uh, I'm an associate professor in Colorado School of Mines. I'm directing the Human Center Robotics Lab doing this cool robotic research. I'm Brian Riley. I'm a graduate student working on my PhD in robotics with Dr. Hao Zhang. Bot robot is a good uh, tool for conducting our research, and so we bought the, the new spot robot, and we are trying to test it out today. And we're really excited to see what we can use it with uh, in our adaptive terrain work, in our search and rescue work, and mine work. It's pretty amazing. That's my first uh, impression. And, uh, you know, we've been working on robot. Like for myself, I, I have been working on robot for more than 10 years, and uh, we never had uh, such a robot that is so agile, that is so well designed, that can do a lot of things just out of the box. Something I do a lot with research is exploring in unexplored environments, like things like mines, and wheeled robots can be difficult for that. So the fact that Spot can cross different types of terrain uh, is, going to be make us, is going to be really interesting. So something we've worked several times with is the Edgar Mine, a resource that School of Mines has access to. Um, we've worked with the mine rescue team, and so when you need to do search and rescue in those dynamic, unstructured environments, the fact that Spot is on four legs instead of wheels, instead of treads, uh, instead of flying and kicking up dust, uh, really means it can it can really participate in search and rescue and help out those teams. I think we'll navigate into the mine and see how well this Spot robot can really adapt to different type of terrain, some of the slopes, okay? And we can also see whether the robot can really navigate in a dark environment, whether it can achieve this obstacle avoidance in this relatively complex, complex environment in uh, underground. The mine, uh, that was uh, an operating mine like 100 years ago. It uh, produces silver, copper, and uh, different, some other like, uh, 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 like uh, metals. And uh, now it was purchased a while ago by uh, Colorado School of Mines. And now it becomes an underground laboratory and uh, different uh, uh, people from different uh, fields, they are coming here, they come here to test uh, their, their research in the mine. First of all, it's cool. <laughs> uh, if you have this radioactive, uh, uh, like a manufacturing or some power plants, it's hard for humans, generally not possible for human inspectors to go in often to in inspect those facilities. And here, for some uh, some developing areas in an uh, underground tunnel, it's the same. It's just uh, dangerous for humans to get in. So the, in this scenario, the robots actually can provide a great great tool to uh, generally to help people to achieve this inspection task. It perceives uh, you know the local environment. Uh, it actually can navigate in pure dark, and uh, it can generally do obstacle avoidance. If there's some obstacle uh, in front of the robot, it can just uh, avoid the obstacle. So when you consider about uh, these underground facilities or like, uh, you know, a big manufacturing factory, uh, it always has stairs or some have some slopes that is very hard for some other types of robot, like a wheeled robot to navigate on. And in this scenario, probably you already see like the robot actually, uh, the spot robot can deal with these hard terrain types very well. It can climb other, it can climb stairs that the wheeled robots cannot. what we want to do is we want to make the robot to be autonomous so the robot can take over these routine tasks like the, the normal routine tasks instead of asking the, hu the humans to spend a lot of time and labor on this like relatively boring task but also important right for example like the daily inspection I'm also excited to see him interact with people I feel like the way he's designed people are very curious about him and they think he has a face they think he has a personality uh, and so I really want to see how people react to him and how he can interact with them. Indoor environments, we sort of uh, have like robot arms, right? We, we sort of have achieved a great progress over the past 20 years. But for outdoor environments, we actually don't have really have a good robot. And generally, like I think Spot, it, it uh, fills this gap for the, for the robotics community. I think it's really exciting that this is a brand new technology available and Minds has gotten one pretty early. Uh, I think it excites people about robotics and what they can do for our lives and so I think we'll see a lot more students wanting to do research there, wanting to get involved and hopefully more students coming to Minds.